Yeah. I mean, what changes would you like to see in the real estate industry? I don't know. Yeah. What about your industry in particular? I mean, you can bag on real estate agents all you want in a minute. <laughs> but, you know, particular in your industry, what, what changes would you like to see? Um, you know, I haven't really, I haven't really given it a lot of thought. You know, I mean, it changes. I mean, it changes from year to year. I mean, I look back from when I started. I was telling you a little bit about that. You know, when I started in title and escrow, loan document packages were not emailed to be printed. Okay, they were overnighted, mm -hmm. and then they signed, and you overnighted them back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like, you know, we're used to write a check. You had a little float time. You would write a check, and then, oh, okay, well, I wrote a check. I have a couple of days before it's going to hit my account. Yeah. So that was when the loan docs, when the docs came in, you know, you had a little bit of like a, you know, travel time, you mm -hmm. know, so you, you know, you had a little bit of time to fit everything in. Right. And so what I've seen with the industry, well, now everything is, it's emailed, or you go in and you grab the docs, and everything is so much more instantaneous mm -hmm. you don't have that float time anymore you know right. so it's it's yeah. changed that way and and people know. have lost their patience in that regard too haven't they like they patience. want they want everything instantly mm -hmm. it's a little ridiculous we've damn talked about amazon. that a lot <laughs> what's that damn you amazon yeah <laughs> damn you amazon yeah no i mean everybody wants yeah. things instantly and it's just yeah I, I going back to changes that i'd like to see in the real estate industry i think people need to the people need to chill out like, yeah. honestly, they need to just, like, relax. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't call somebody and scream at them on the phone because it, <laughs> it didn't happen as fast as you wanted it to. Yeah. Like, there are agents out there, and I know we're recording this and it's going out to the world, but you cannot do that. You cannot call yourself a professional real estate broker or professional anything and just go scream at somebody. If you want to be a professional screamer, then yeah. go to the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can go and talk trash to somebody else. You know, you'll get your teeth kicked in, you yeah. know, yeah. which is probably why people don't do it. But I just, it's yeah. just, it's, people need to just relax. Well, some of the most <laughs> successful people that I've seen in the industry are um, people that I haven't really seen. They don't take on the transfer, transference of emotion. Their clients may be emotional, mm -hmm. but they don't take it on. Right. And what they do is that they just remain calm and then they come out, okay, this is the issue or this is the problem. Mm -hmm. What are the, what are the options that we have? Mm -hmm. What, what can we do? They sit, they call you, they talk about it. Um, and they don't, they don't transfer their client's energy onto you. They just, okay, this is what we have. This is what we can. These are the options that we have. And then they just work with that, mm -hmm. you know, where we talk it out. And that's some of the most successful people I've seen in the industry are, they're just phenomenal negotiators, communicators, just, and kill what I've seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that you said it right with the negotiating and all that. I mean, that makes a difference if you preemptively let them know, Hey, this may not happen on mm -hmm. Friday. Like we thought it would, mm -hmm. you know, be prepared to yeah. go in and sign on Monday. Yeah. That's you know, that oh, honesty piece. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. not a big deal. Then if you wait till Friday and then it doesn't happen and you don't let them know, yeah, they're going to get pissed. Yeah. But, or, uh, or they'll, or they'll call their clients and be like, you're not going to believe this shit. Like this escrow <laughs> officer, Vanessa at first American titles just <laughs> right. said that oh, we're yeah. not going to close until Monday. So you're not going to be able to do your movers and blah, blah, blah. And they just like, they yeah. rile up their people, yeah. you know, yeah. it's just like, what's wrong with just like, Hey, you know, yeah. exactly what you're saying. You know, like, hey, you know, we may have a delay. I'm just going to give you a heads up. Be prepared. Right. Be prepared for it. Right. You know, let's yeah. figure out a solution. I, yeah. I, I do have to say, though, as a lender and giving out timeframes and guidelines and stuff like that, I no longer can give a window to people. So before, you know, again, doing this for a long time, I'd say, hey, here's kind of best case. My, my voice just cracked. Greg Brady there. <laughs> um, so, like, best case scenario, we're looking at this, you know, realistic here, and then kind of a worst case scenario would be this time frame. People only hear that first number and mm -hmm. they throw out the rest, which is really sad. And and I'll say, well, okay, you know, I, I apologize. We talked about these three different scenarios. I was just being realistic with you on that. I know, but you said the 18th. Yeah. I apologize for ever saying the 18th and I will never say it again. I'm going to yeah. give, you know, a realistic yeah. or worst case because yeah. unfortunately consumers have beat that out of me, mm -hmm. quite yeah. honestly, which is very sad because yeah. I'm still, they don't know, but I'm still pushing for that best date option. Always. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm just not going to tell them anymore. Yeah. So the thing that I would really like to share with everybody yes. <laughs> is that when we have to make the calls to let you know that, oh, UPS didn't come, there is a delay, mm -hmm. or, oh, there is a last-minute judgment that just popped up because it yeah. was recorded yesterday. Yeah. Um, trust me. 
Yeah. We don't like making those phone calls. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. The best part of our job is to call you and tell you, hey, it's closed. Your yeah. clients can get the keys. Um, you, don't have Joey, you don't have Joey make those calls yeah, for Joey, you? Joey's got the best part <laughs> of the job for sure. I know, Sabrina, I'm surprised she let that go. You know, I'm like, well, that's, that's the best part, making the calls. You know, hey, yeah. it's done. So, yeah. but, uh, you know, I mean, but like you say, you know, just like experience and, and I've worked the job, you know, I'm not, I did not used to be as poised and, you know, and confident as I used to be. It's, you know, like you say, you go through your experiences mm-hmm. and doing the job and you learn from it and you're like, okay, what can I do better? How can I better communicate? But, you know, things come up. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, they do. And us having to make those calls, you know, it's, yep. it's part of our job. We wear it, you know what I mean? And but that's, that's one of the toughest things for me. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's easier now that I've been in the business for a period of time. Yeah. But it's hard because you you don't want, you know, how many oftentimes in life do you buy and sell a home? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's unfortunate. You don't want the buyers and the sellers to have, you know, this is their, like, you know, their one or two experiences they're going to have. Oh, well, that real estate deal, something came up at the last minute. You don't want them to have that. You know, yeah. you strive to, like you say, you strive to have a, just a great transaction. Mm-hmm. Everything falls into place. But stuff comes up. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that's part of the process. Like, that's why I've always said, like, a good real estate broker or a good escrow officer is worth their weight in gold. 